Hi, I'm Kat, and in this tutorial I'll show you how to make these cooling scarves that you can soak in water and wear around your neck to keep cool. For this project you'll need a sewing machine, needle and thread, a cutting surface, whatever fabric you choose, something to cut with, measuring tape, and these specialized polymer gel balls. I use these pre-soaked floral gel beads, but you can use something like Orbeez and just pre-soak them so you know exactly how much you're going to need from the beginning. Begin by laying your fabric face down on your cutting surface and then fold the top edge over to about two and a half inches. Use your measuring tape to make sure it is actually folded over at two and a half inches evenly all the way across the expanse of the fabric. Then lay your measuring tape down starting on the left side of the fabric and measure to anywhere between 35 and 40 inches. Then start cutting at that measurement. Make a curve on the right side of your fabric all the way down to the bottom of your fold and then cut along that fold all the way to the left side of your fabric. When you get to the left side, curve up to the corner of the fabric. Then unfold your piece of fabric and refold it with the right sides together lining up all of the edges. Take it over to your sewing machine and begin sewing at one end. I like to back stitch a little before I start my seam, that way I know it's not going to come undone. I did this seam at I think a quarter of an inch and then continue a straight seam until you get to about the middle of your scarf. Then back stitch a little bit and cut your thread. Next you'll want to move your scarf down about two inches to leave a two to three inch gap in your seam. This is where you're going to turn your scarf right side out. Begin this next seam by back stitching a little bit and then line up your edges and continue that straight seam all the way to the other curved edge of your scarf. If you want to pin the scarf before you sew it, that's fine, but like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's a really simple project. Then take your scarf back over to your cutting board and cut the end off, and then cut a little bit into the seam allowance on the inside of your scarf. Cut the other end off as well, and make sure that you're just cutting little tabs into the seam allowance. Don't cut all the way through your thread or you're going to undo all the work you just did. These tabs will help everything lay correctly when you turn it right side out. Then you can turn it right side out just using your hands like this through the hole that you left in the seam. Or you can use something long and pointy like a chopstick to speed up the process. I use a chopstick in the end of my scarf because it helps turn the points in the end of the scarf and get that nice sharp point out of the fabric. Then put it around your neck and measure how much length you want on the tails of your scarf. I wanted about that much on mine and the center part to be filled with the polymer beads. Then take that measurement back to your sewing machine and sew a straight seam across your scarf on each end, creating sort of a reservoir in the center to fill up with your polymer beads. And then begin adding the beads. This can be sort of a tedious process, so I got bored with this after about 30 seconds. And instead I made a little funnel out of a piece of paper, stuck it into the hole in the center of the scarf, and began filling that with the beads. This speeds up the process quite a bit, and then they just fall into place inside the scarf. Once you've stuffed it to capacity, begin sewing up the hole that you left in the seam. I do this blind stitch right along the fold of the fabric. I sew about half a centimeter on one side and then take the needle over to the other side and sew another half centimeter or so and pull the thread through. By keeping the seam directly on the fold, you're not going to see it and it creates this nice blind stitch. I'm pretty sure this is what Jim Henson did with his Muppets and it was pretty revolutionary at the time. If you think Muppets are revolutionary, I don't know. I just like the stitch. I think it works and keep going all the way to the end of the hole. And then once you've completely sewn up the hole, before you pull the needle through, take the needle back through the loop of thread and then pull it tight. I usually do this three or four times to create three or four little knots. And then with the last one, I just pull the thread off and rip it and it's going to keep those knots in place and nothing's going to unravel. On this comic book themed one, I actually did two separate reservoirs of the polymer beads. You can do up to four if you want. It really just changes the way the scarf lies around your neck, but it's up to you. And that's all there is to it. Just soak them in some water when you're ready to use it. I add ice cubes to mine. And then wrap it around your neck to keep cool. These are great for hot summer days if you're working outside or if it's really hot in your apartment and you're too cheap to run the air conditioner like me. And when you're done using them, just leave them in the sun to dry out completely. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my channel for other fun DIY projects. Mm -hmm.